One of the most enjoyable moments for a basketball player is when they receive their first paycheck. They work their whole lives to get to where they are, and some instantly make their dream purchases once they get a taste of making money in the NBA. And kudos to them, they earned it. But not all NBA players splurge the minute they get their first check. LeBron James, who grew up underprivileged in Akron, Ohio, only took $2,000 out of his first multimillion dollar check at 18 years old and his closest friend to an amusement park. James' former public relations manager Chris Dennis told ESPN. The similarly frugal, three-time NBA champion Clay Thompson went with a pool table for his first purchase, which is quite tame in comparison to his counterparts. So no, not every NBA star indulges in a wild spending spree the minute they see multiple zeros and commas on their first check, but some definitely do. Here's a list of those ballers who balled out with some wild purchases after they finally saw their hard work pay off, literally. 5. Gilbert Arenas' wild spending spree left him on a budget. Former NBA player Gilbert Arenas is best known for his heyday with the Washington Wizards. Before he became known as Agent Zero, he dug himself a hole, financially, having gone almost completely broke prior to officially signing his rookie contract with the Golden State Warriors. In 2019, Arenas told Bleacher Report he bet on himself ahead of the 2001 NBA draft, anticipating how much money he would make as a first-round draft pick. He took out a loan and went on a shopping spree, buying a $40,000 chain with his initials and a Cadillac Escalade with five TVs and a $60,000 stereo system. Arenas, unexpectedly, was not selected until the second round. This meant his $330,000 rookie deal, before taxes, was substantially fewer dollars than he anticipated. I got so mad that I threw the chain I bought out the window, Arenas told the outlet. As a result, he had to live on a $400 a month budget through his first two NBA seasons. Try going on a date in the middle of the month with $100 left, he lamented. The at times strange athlete added, I got gas, I had two dogs and a girlfriend at the time. There was no date night. It was horrible. He certainly learned how to be a baller on a budget before inking his $111 million deal in 2008. 4. Miles Bridges dropped 90 grand on jewelry to fit in. Miles Bridges entered the 2018 NBA draft and was eventually swooped up by the Charlotte Hornets. The former Michigan State Spartan told GQ the Hornets brought in former NBA players and financial specialists to teach incoming players the importance of managing their money. With that in mind, Bridges, then expecting a child, prioritized using his first NBA paycheck to buy himself a sensible, family-friendly new car, a $100,000 Range Rover. He also realized his dream of buying his mother a house, with a relatively modest price tag of $200,000. But before that, his first purchase was to make sure he fit in with the rest of his teammates. What was the item that made him fit in? A $30,000 gold presidential Rolex. Admittedly, the 2020 Rising Stars MVP was not into jewelry, but he told GQ everybody said, once you get to the NBA, you have to get some type of watch just so you could look professional. The jewelry collection didn't stop there. He decided to buy three custom chains that were personal to him. The three chains cost him a grand total of $60,000 that he stacked on top of his $30,000 Rolex. 3. No Kitten Ben Simmons spent $10,000 on exotic pets Ben Simmons, the NBA's first overall draft pick in 2016, wildly spent some of his first NBA contract on two pets. The Australian native told Cold as Balls he likes wild animals, so he decided to buy two Savannah cats. It turned out to be a purchase Simmons told Needing Doe he regretted. The 2017-18 Kia NBA Rookie of the Year first purchased a female Savannah cat for $4,000. Afterwards, Simmons told his half-brother Sean Tribe, needs a friend. We need to give it a friend. Tribe recited to the undefeated. The second Savannah cat was a male that cost $6,000 and had a third-generation ancestor that was an African serval cat. They got crazy, Simmons said, adding, I got scratched a couple times, but nothing crazy. My brother had more problems than me. Tribe told the outlet the male cat was like a wild animal. And further recalled, you give the cat a bowl of fruit and it's clawing at your hand when you put the fruit down. They both admitted the female cat was well behaved until the second one showed up. Ultimately, Simmons decided to send both cats back and chalked it up as a bad purchase. It's a shame Simmons' Savannah pet pals didn't work out. 2. Harrison Barnes hooked himself up with luxury ZZZZs. Harrison the Black Falcon Barnes joined the NBA in 2012 as a member of the Golden State Warriors. When he saw his first paycheck from the league, he pursued a childhood dream. Barnes told CNBC Make It. For me, growing up, really having a nice bed was something that I always wanted. From his first NBA payday, he noticed his shopping experience was completely different, explaining to the outlet he was used to buying the cheapest thing possible. When he signed a multi-million dollar contract, he went into shopping with a different outlook. 
You have the ability and are fortunate enough to be able to choose whatever you want, Barnes said. With that in mind, going mattress shopping was like Christmas for Barnes as he laid down on every bed in the store, telling himself, I'm going to choose the bed I want to sleep on. The 2012-13 NBA All-Rookie First Team selection claims he chose one of the nicer bets. What a joy that had to be for a kid who once limited his furniture options due to his financial circumstances. In turn, as an adult he could walk into a store knowing he can buy whatever bed he wanted with money not an object. 1. Shaquille O'Neal went wild at a Mercedes dealer. NBA Hall of Fame member Shaquille O'Neal earned his first $1 million paycheck off an endorsement deal. The deal came right before the 1992 NBA draft where the Diesel became the top selection. The skills rapper told in depth with Graham Bensinger he spent his first $1 million in one day. He dropped $150,000 on a black Mercedes Benz. As O'Neal told Bensing, that's what I always wanted, a black Mercedes with some nice wheels. When he came home to show his parents, his father was impressed, but wondered where his ride was. I was like, you what? You made me who I am, jump in, O'Neal recalled. The Kazam actor then brought his father an identical Mercedes and, eventually, bought his mother a little Mercedes, bringing his car expenses up to $500,000. The big Aristotle explained that after buying jewelry, clothes, a pager, and a phone to prepare for the NBA draft, not to mention the taxes and other hits that brought his $1 million check down to a net of maybe like $600 zero, he received a call the next morning from a family friend, who also happened to be his banker. O'Neal was in the red by $80,000. TNT's inside the NBA analyst had more money coming once he signed his rookie deal, so the debt was short-lived. What lasted, however, was the memory of spending his first million dollars and his status as a millionaire.